To become certified in aerial lifts, members of Carpenter's Local 1016 must go through eight hours of training, both in a classroom and field setting. The types of aerial lifts shown in this video include boom lifts, also known as articulating lifts, and scissor lifts. Instruction starts out in the classroom. So pre-start inspection, what do you think? Is it important? Yeah. OSHA, excuse me, the standard says that we will do this. And it's only for your or protection and yours or your guys or whatever. That's what it's all about. It's all about safety, not getting hurt. It's just like that airplane pilot. He's not going to get up there and fly. 3,000 feet or 5,000 feet without walking around, make sure his wings are going to fall off. Or when he After explaining the differences between varieties of aerial lifts, the instructor then moves to safety, protection from falls, pre-start checklists, and inspection of components. So, fall protection, if we talk about it, uh, what's it say here? Maintain the fall or safety on the elevated platform, maintain a safe footing, good housekeeping, Use proper uh, access and egress. Do not exceed the capacity. If, uh, if the platform is snagged and cannot be moved with the upper controls, the occupants must leave the platform before using the lower controls. Both the trainees and trainers are required to wear hard hats when machinery is being operated. Aerial lifts also utilize lanyards and harnesses for the operators to prevent injury from falling. Once the classroom instruction is complete, safety procedures have been verified and all pre-start checklists have been exhausted, it's time for practice. After practice comes the driving course. After having a few cracks at the course, the day is over, almost. And then we finish the day with a test over uh, the ANSI standards for the, uh, the boom lift and also the, uh, the aerial lift. And uh, at the end results, if everybody passes the driving test, passes the written test, they end up with a, uh, a certification that verifies that they have passed this and they, they are uh, they've met the uh, ANSI, the OSHA standards. After just eight hours, these members of Carpenter's Local 1016 are ANSI and OSHA certified for aerial lifts.